Hello, Namaskar. One more small problem in regression. For perfectly correlated two variables x and y, y bar equals to 2x bar. That means mean of x is twice the mean of y and 100x plus 25y minus 1500 equals to 0. That is one of the equation of line of regression. Find out dy, dx, y and both the means. Now, we have only two things, one relationship and one equation. And we are well aware that on the basis of the equation, we can find any of the coefficients of, any one of the coefficients of regression. The question is, which equation is this? In maths, it is common to take y as dependent variable. So, let's assume that 100x plus 25y minus 1500 equals to 0 be the line of regression of y on x. 100x plus 25y minus 1500 equals to 0. If this is line of regression of y on x, y must be the subject of formula or the equation. Therefore, 25y equals to minus 100x plus 1500. Therefore, y equals to minus 100x plus 1500 upon 25. Therefore, y equals to minus 100x upon 25 plus 1500 upon 25. Therefore, y equals to minus 4x plus 60 over y equals to 60 minus 4x. Now, if we compare it with the standard form of the line of regression of y on x, that is y cap equals to a plus bx, then b is minus 4 and in the line of regression of y on x, b stands for byx. Therefore, we can say that byx is minus 4. Okay. Now, what about three things, remaining three things, bxy and both the means. To have bxy, either we should have the line of regression of x on y or we should have some other thing. We don't have the line of regression of x on y in this case. Then what? We have another important thing. For perfectly correlated two variables. This phrase is very important. Perfectly correlated. What do we mean by perfectly correlated? If two variables are perfectly correlated. Then what happens? Coefficient of correlation is either plus or minus 1. Or more precisely... The squared value of the coefficient of correlation is 1. Now we know that the squared value of correlation coefficient is equal to the product of the two coefficients of correlation. That means in this case 1 equals to minus 4 into bxy. Therefore bxy equals to minus 1 by 4 or dxy equals to minus 0 0.25. So in this way, with the help of this phrase, perfectly correlated two variables, we now also have the value of bxy. Both are negative. One is greater than one, so another is less than one. Multiplication of these two is positive one and square root is also positive one. Okay, now what? Two means. How can we find two means? Because generally we think that to find the two means, we should solve the two equations of the two lines of regression. But here we have only one equation. How can we? We have another important thing. The relationship between two means. Y bar equals to 2x bar. We have the formula of y. Y equals to 60 minus 4x. If we substitute x bar in this formula, the result will be y bar. Therefore, y bar equals to 60 minus 4x bar. 
Now, if we substitute this relationship, we can have any one of the two means. Let's substitute y bar equals to 2x bar here. 2x bar equals to 60 minus 4x bar. So, 2x bar plus 4x bar equals to 60. That means 6x bar equals to 60 and therefore x bar equals to 10. Now, Again, this relationship y bar equals to 2x bar, that is 2 into 10. Therefore, now we can say that y bar is 20. So, now we have all four results, byx, bxy, x bar, y bar. Now, I want to or I would like to say one thing. We assumed that the given equation is the equation of line of regression of y on x. If we assume that, this is the equation of line of regression of x on y, then also all the answers will be same. Yes, all the answers will be same. So I suggest you to solve this sum again by taking this equation as the equation of line of regression of x on y. That's it. Thank you very much.